Hi friends. Now today we will learn about Cobot, common business oriented language. It was one of the earliest high level programming language. So you have to understand that Cobol, why it came in existence, why it's needed, everything. So yeah, for that you have to go to Cobol history so one by one i am trying to explain so as you can see on the screen cobol was one of the earliest high level programming language it is primarily used for business finance and administrative system of companies this committee was formed by a joint effort of industry major university and united states government government printing office has printed the cobol specification as a cobol 60 in 1960 and cobol was developed within a six month period and at it still is used over 60 years later since 1960 the american national standards ansi was responsible for developing new cobol standards COBOL is used for writing application programs and we cannot use it to write system software. The application like those in defense domain, insurance domain, etc. which require huge data processing make extensive use of COBOL. Now, legacy. Now we'll understand uh, legacy. COBOL programs are in use globally in government and military agencies and commercial enterprises. 95% financial and insurance business is on COBOL in US in 1997. The Gartner Group reported that 80% of the world business ran on COBOL with over 200 billion lines of code in existence and with an estimated 5 billion lines of a new code annually. COBOL is a high level language. One must understand the way COBOL works. Computer only understand machine code and binary stream of 0 and 1. COBOL code must be converted into a machine code using a compiler. Run the program source through a compiler. The compiler first check for any syntax error and then converts into a machine language. The compiler increase. The compiler creates an output file which is known as a load module. This module file contains executable code in the form of zeros and ones. Now we will try to understand evolution of COBOL. During 1950s, when the business were growing in the western part of the world, there was a need to automate various processes for ease of operation and this gave a high level programming language mean for a business data processing. In 1959, COBOL was developed by a code ASYL conference on the system language. The next version, COBOL 61, was released in 1961 with some revisions. In 1968, COBOL was approved by ANSI as a standard language for a commercial use, COBOL 68. It was again revised in 1974 and 1985 to develop subsequent versions. Named. So, I will tell you what is the uh, subsequent version named COBOL 64 and COBOL 85 respectively. In, nine, in 2002, object-oriented COBOL was released, which could use encapsulated object as a normal part of COBOL program. Now we'll understand the importance of COBOL. COBOL was the first widely used high-level programming language. It is in English like language which is user friendly. All the instruction can be coded in simple English words. 
Cocobol is also used for self-documenting language. Cocobol can handle huge data processing. Cocobol is a compatible with the previous version. Cocobol has effective error message and so resolution of bug is easier. Now we'll understand feature of a Cocobol. A standard language. Cocobol is a standard language. Cocobol is a standard language that can be compiled and executed on machines such as IBM AS400 personal computer etc. Cocobol is a business oriented. Cocobol was designed for a business oriented application related to the financial domain, design, uh, defense domain etc. It can handle huge volume of data because of the its advanced file handling capabilities. It, it is a robust language. Cocobol is a robust language as it is a numerous debugging and testing tools are available for, for almost all computer platform. It's a structured language. Logical control structure are available in Cobol which make it easier to read and modify. Cobol has a different division so it is easy to debug. So uh, the, the next video we will talk about what is the various uh, different division. So but now we will uh, basic will understand in this video. So now you will learn step by step. See, you will learn step by step how to use a smart cobol because here we are going to uh, explain smart cobol. Smart cobol. So uh, this is uh, learning purpose only. So cannot use for any other purpose. So here you can enhance your knowledge. So this is the main motive of this video that you can increase your knowledge of programming and understand what is a cobol. So first screen for logging smart so here you can see user uh, this is uh, system sub system display so this is different different system sub system display here user password program procedure menu and current library so only here two things you you, you have to know that user and password to uh, get in the smart 400 where you can write your program so here you can see if i will make it bigger so you can see the user password program so you have to give um, user name and password so now you will see here second screen after successfully login after successfully login you will get this second screen and uh, this is where you can you know uh, type your command and press enter and it will you know work how uh, the command is it's depend upon the command what command you type here and enter so you can now with this video you can understand that how the first screen login and the second screen so just visual here so you can uh, go through this video again to understand the cobol so next video we talk about uh, what are the division in cobol and other and another uh, a section also in the cobol so before that uh, i understand that i have to tell you that there is uh, some uh, there is some lines how you can know that there is some area like this whenever you write the program there will be some area in the cobol so we will also learn in the next video what are the area, what is the area A, what is the area B and uh, identification area. So what are the area will be in here, we will understand in the next video. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed a lot this video and you improved your knowledge about the cobalt. So thanks for watching this video guys. So we will uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.